gap assessments versus risk assessments? What is the difference? Implementing a management system looks an expensive and a challenging preposition. I understand it, at least initially. A gap assessment is a useful, cost-effective, prudent start, a method of learning what the as is of the state of the management system is and how the system is presently working. Without a clear perspective on the start and end points for a management system project, it can be an expensive preposition to commit to a consultant for assistance with the system improvement. A gap assessment measures the current state of the system against the requirements and the future state of the system. It identifies where improvements are needed. The future state may include new compliance obligations and or stakeholder requirements, including a need to confirm to an ISO standard. Gap assessments provide inside to and into the state of the system. They identify the risks that would prevent an organization from meeting a desired future state as required to achieve objectives. A risk assessment assesses threat and vulnerabilities to the meeting of these objectives. These could be for health and safety, quality, environmental, security, or business continuity. The risk is then assessed on the basis of the likelihood of the threat occurring and the severity of the consequences should the risk become realized. The organization uses criteria to determine acceptable level of risks and makes a proactive plan to address the risks that are not acceptable to them. Learn more about this in one of the ISO lead auditor courses, training options from the QMII, or ask for training in risk management. Quality Management International Incorporated QMII provides gap assessment services to include assisting clients in determining and addressing risks that may impact their system objectives. Please note, for 35 years, QMII has been invested in the process and success of its clients by helping them master the continual improvement of their systems.